Hello there, my friends. Here we are at El Yaque on Margarita Island. Hola, como estas? Bien, bien. The beautiful beaches. And I'm searching here. Where's the best beach? Tour. Yes. How are you doing, man? Where, Where are you from? from Venezuela. Thank you. You're from here? No, Caracas. Ah, Caracas. But you're from Venezuela. Ah, you came for a vacation. <laughs> Welcome. Esta la playa para windsurfing. Donde windsurfing. Yeah. No, amigo, windsurfing. Donde el windsurfing. Windsurfing. Ah, okay. It's full windsurfing. All right, all right, guys. Let's go, go. check out the windsurfing. He's telling us to go. And the public wind. Gracias. We got good wind here. I can feel it. It's nice. It's really hot. There's a windsurfer. Preparing his equipment. The Margarita's coming back. It's coming back. This used to be a major tourist destination. And when Venezuela was at its lowest period about five, six years ago when things were pretty bad, tourism went way downhill here. <laughs> We gotta go talk to these girls. We gotta go talk to them. Hola, hola. Hola. How are you? Bien, bien. De dónde? De Venezuela. Venezuela. Ah, okay. De dónde eres tú? Eh, soy de Israel. Wow. Ah. Lebanese. 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 Ah, okay. Le eh, Lebanese de Venezuela. Sí. Sí, okay. ¿Te quiero algo bien? Claro. Right, right. Right, right. Okay. Yo Venezuela, Venezuela. Venezuela, Venezuela. Es Venezuela Ashley. Ah, okay. Venezuela, Ashley. Venezuela Ashley. Les? Ah, okay, you speak English? Ah, okay, good. So tell me, uh, English speaking Venezuelans. Hello, guys. Hi. Hi. The English speaking Venezuelans, wow. We found them. We found them. What, uh, what should I do here in Margarita? What's the best thing to do in Margarita? Uh, you have to eat different Empanadas? Empanada. But I can eat empanadas everywhere. Um, Even in Colombia, I can eat empanadas. No, it's not the same. No, no, it's not the same. No, no. You cannot compare. You cannot compare okay. Venezuela and empanadas. No, not Venezuela. Margarita empanadas. Margarita empanadas. Exactly. Why? Um, Why are the margarita empanadas so good? They're just superior. Superior? Yeah. Superior. And they are very big. 100%. Very big. Ah, big empanadas. Yeah. I don't know if that's a good thing. But, uh, <laughs> the best thing. The best. To get fat. Good. Yeah. yeah. Important. <laughs> All right. Nice. Um, you need to su subscribe to my channel. Uh, if you open your phone, I'll write it down for you. And then you can see yourself starring and being oh the star God. of the wow. channel. Right? <laughs> nice. Very famous. Yes. Okay. Guys, got myself some subscribers here. Yeah. yeah. Woohoo. Woo Insightful nomad. Insightful nomad. Nomads. Yes. You have to subscribe to that. Yeah. So this one is me. You're subscribed. There's a, a big uh, market. Oh, yeah. Very very yeah. Very good food. Local food. Yeah. Good empanadas. Yeah, yeah. That's yeah. a tiny empanada, big empanada. Right. Go. Oh. Okay. Guys, big empanadas from the Venezuelan girls they recommend. So we're going to go check that out later. Uh, yeah, see you around. I'll see you on the way back, I guess. Okay. If you're still here. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Water's quite nice, so kind of murky.
So what is this? This is oblea. Obleada. Obleada. Oblea. It's like a little pancake though. Um, money, money, money. Yeah, see, see. Yeah, see, see. Money. Como, como, como oblea. It's like what, what the father gives you at the Ah, yeah, at the church. Ah, like. Oh, look, the chicks are inviting me. <laughs> this, will be, this can be a YouTube uh, headline. Venezuelan girls invite me to Oblea. Try it. So this is the oblea. Oh, uh, this bread. I've seen it before. This one, the crunchy one. Is it good? Yeah, it's good. I mean, I'm trying to, to compare it to something. I don't know why. Uh, I don't know. It's just a little snack. Uh, but what is it similar to? I don't know. It's unique. Unique Venezuela, unique, unique food. Hola, mi nombre Hola. es Flor. Trabajo aquí en Playa El Yaque. Ah. Este, soy muy reconocida porque mis obleas son hechas en horno de leña. Igualmente la Arequipe. Oye, mira, las mejores obleas de aquí de Playa El Yaque de la señora Flor y le dice la bella. Bienvenido la bella. a todas las personas que quieran debutar. <laughs> Guys, did you hear that? El mejor oblea in Playa El Yaque, El Yaque right? Oh, look, it's colorful. Um, uh, you know, quería... Got different ah, bueno, taste. Yeah, mm. <laughs> <laughs> yummy, yummy. Money? No. Y coco también. Okay. And how much is this pleasure costing us? Uh, for each one? Three for five dollars. Ah, uh, three for five dollars, okay. So uh -huh. a bit over a dollar. That I uh, reverse the roles here, where the women are buying me, buying me stuff, because <laughs> I have no money, like cash, no cash, and no money. But <laughs> look, Senora Flora is making a killing here, making a fortune. A lot of sales. So people here are really nice, you see? Also they're on vacation, relaxed atmosphere. And those chicks invited me for a Venezuelan dessert. I don't take that for granted, especially in some other countries in Latin America where the man is supposed to invite the women for such treats. And I didn't have any cash on me because it's Venezuela and at the moment I can't withdraw cash and that's a big problem which I hope to fix soon, so they were like, yeah, it's on us. So that was really nice. That's El Yaque for you. What about the other beaches? One of the famous ones on the island of Coche, and you need a boat to get there. Amigos. Dale, Ray. <laughs> Después mucho tiempo. Okay, pero seguro. El bote arriba. Gracias. Finally, I waited here two hours today and three hours yesterday to get the coach. Yes. Let's go. Woo. Man, that was a long wait and they only accept cash, which I didn't have and now I finally got my hands on so I can go to coche. Gracias, amigo. Finally, what the hell is going on here? There's like dead fish washing up on shore. I don't know. And uh, my private boat. So Coche, it's kind of an isolated island that's off a little bit from Margarita. Really beautiful white sand. You get that more isolated feel compared to Margarita, which is a little bit more built up, as you can see. Although Margarita is also very chill and great. It's nothing like, I don't know, Cancun or a place like that. It's got a much more relaxed vibe, I would say. But Coche is a different story. So let's head over there and see. What happens after we unmoor this boat? Oh, <laughs> it's splashing water on the camera here. Uh, so yeah, there we go. Oh, 
All right, maybe I'm not going to Kocha in the end. Woo. Finally, we did it. Wow. On about the 20th try. Guys, see, here it is. Coche, for you. Coche. All right. Uh, Coche, beautiful. Yes. Uh, Laguna Rosada, allá parte de atrás, cinco minutos. Five minutes. Laguna, ¿qué es? Sí, Laguna Rosada, acá, five minutes. ¿Qué es en la laguna? Eh, ¿Totugas? Sal. ¿no? no, no, no. ¿Pescado? Sal, sal. Sal. Pura sal. La población. Ah, ok. 17,000 habitantes en la isla de Coche. Damn, so we have to leave this beautiful shore because my friend here, Ismael. Ismael, el amigo Alex. Sí, it's going to show me uh, the lagoon here, the salty lagoon. It's closed off from the rest of the ocean. Margarita Island is all the way over there. You can see. And this lagoon is extremely salty. All right, look at this. Wow. Oh, so you can see the salt. Look how the salt is shining. Sal. Sal, sal, sal. Salt. Yodo. Para la piel. La piel suave. Ha llovido y por correrse no tiene el color rosado. Cuando deje de llover, deja el color rosadito. I'm definitely feeling the salt here where I have some mosquito bites. It's stinging. That means there's a ton of salt in the water. It's really stinging my legs here. You can actually see the salt underneath. Ishmael's taking me to a little salt cave here. See, this is all salt. Sal. This is all. Oh, Ooh. wow. Look. And in here. Yo. Break off a piece here. It actually has the taste of salt. Like, pretty, pretty good salt. Hmm. I need that on a piece of fish. El mejor pescado de la isla de Coche. Finally, the pristine beaches of Isla de Coche. Ostra. Ostra. Viagra. Viagra. Por qué Viagra? Viagra natural, potencia. Potencia, potencia. Okay, pachica. Pachica. ¿Cuánto en noche posible con Viagra? Eh, tres horas. Tres horas. Tres horas. Tres horas. Con Cumalasco. Fresca. Ok, ok. Fresca. Ahora necesito mujeres. Necesito mujeres. Hay mujeres aquí en la isla. Ostra. Time to say goodbye to Coche and head back to Margarita. Aha, so this is Pampatal, which is near the big city Porlamar. Got a bunch of really nice beaches like that, and you have a canyon 
like that and a fortress back over there. So let's go check that out. Castillo San Carlos de Bohomeo. Built in the 1500s. And it's just one of many castles that we have here on Margarita Island. Ooh, there's a drawbridge. Dun -dun. Yeah, this is the inside of the fortress. From some old ship. And these cannonballs. Ooh, wow. Damn. Es original? Sí. Original. Original yeah. cannonballs. And several important battles were fought here to take this castle. And there, a whole bunch of cannons on the waterfront. Those cannons are almost 500 years old. This is crazy. They would also fire their muskets through here. Amigo, de donde el pirates? Los piratas eran pirata. holandeses, franceses, ingleses. Ah, Se okay. llamaban del Caribe porque andaban en aguas territoriales del Caribe. Mm. Pero venían de esas partes del mundo. Territoriales del muy Caribe. importante aquí, ¿no? Sí. So look at this, this is all the little boats that are coming here in Pampa Town. Pulpo, pulpo. Pulpo, pulpo. Donde pulpo? Pulpo. Oh, shh. This is where all the octopus is going. I don't know if you like octopus or not, but they, they, these guys are all uh, still alive. See? Look at that. Jeez. Oh my goodness. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. No, finito el pulpo. Ah, chico. No. Siempre más pulpo. El más que peca de gorrita negra ese. Okay. Look at all. The, oh my god. Oh. Ah. Oh. Shit. In vive? Yes, yes, mira. They're alive. Yeah. All right, like that's all this. Wow. See, man, man. El canavindi. El que no juega carrito, papá. Yo. All right, guys. I, I, I think I've seen enough. <laughs> I have seen enough dead octopus for one day. <laughs> it's alive, oh my god. <laughs> so this is crazy, there's a whole octopus fishing town here. I don't know. It turns out I stumbled by mistake into Barrio Los Pescadores, the fisherman's neighborhood packed with little boats bringing in octopuses, fish, and other seafoods that are later sold throughout the region. Just another surprise on Margarita and its many locations, like the town of Juan Grigo with its castle overlooking this amazing bay. More beaches like Playa El Agua and El Cardón, historic churches dating back to the colonial period, and also the problems that plagued the rest of Venezuela. Another line for gas! here in Margarita, all these people. Power cuts at the supermarket, no ATMs, and also places that don't accept credit cards. So come prepared. So that was Margarita Island. Hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions about how best way to visit, then please ask away in the comments below. And you're also welcome to check out my other travel videos 
from Venezuela right over here. And I hope to see you next time.